Bethany at House Like Nails here. I'm back doing something a little bit different today. Timberland at Pampered Polishes called me out to do the unpopular nail polish opinions tab. So I'm going to do it. Um, I had never heard of it until I watched her video, so I don't know what other opinions are floating around out there, but I will link her video down below if you want to watch that and see her opinions on these questions, unpopular polish opinions, whatever. Anyway, let's get into it. There are 10 questions I'm going to tell you my opinions on. Okay. <laughs> the first question, I guess these aren't really questions. It's more like a statement and then my, anyway. Okay, a popular nail polish that you don't like. I'm sorry, it is Endless Blue from Sinful Colors. Now, I love this polish. It's one of my favorite blue creams, but I hate this polish. It is a nightmare to clean up. It's a nightmare to remove. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't like this polish for that reason. It's pretty, it's a pretty color. It's really opaque. It's very affordable. It's like two bucks a bottle, but I hate clean up. I hate removing it. So I really just don't wear it that often. So I'd say this is a popular polish that I just don't like. Sorry if you love it. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, number two is a polish that everybody hates but I like. Now I really had no idea what to do for this because I own mostly indies and I don't know what indie is hated. So I actually went into a Facebook group and asked them for all of the polishes they hate to see if I loved any and it turns out these beautiful colors over here, these quote, oh my god. These, these colors right here, these ugly shades. I mean, hi, look at my shirt right now. People hate these and I love ugly colors. Baby diarrhea, pea soup green, just the ugliest thing you can mix up. I love it. I'm holding Salvage Auto Singer, or I'm sorry, Singer Auto Salvage from 9-0, um, Fuzzy Sweater from Pretty and Polished, Acid Clean from Pepper Pot and Dried Leaves from uh, My Darling Curios. And these are some of my favorite ugly shades. I have so many. These were just the first ones that I grabbed. I love the ugly shades, and I'm sorry if you hate them. I just love them so much. So the next question is a nail polish finish that you don't like. Don't kill me for saying this, but I don't like multi-chromes. And let me tell you why. I like multi-chromes. I love wearing them and looking at them and playing with them, but I hate swatching them. It stresses me out to no end. You can ask some of my friends like Sam or Timberland. I'm always like, oh my gosh, I don't know which is which because a lot of them shift with similar colors and shiftiness that I'm just like, oh my gosh, okay, what one is this looks like this, but I don't know what shift I caught in this picture. And I get so stressed out that when I swatch them, I literally have to do a bottle shot before I start swatch photos because there are so many shifts and colors that you pick up that it could look like a different polish, but it's actually this one, and, and I get so stressed. So when I swatch these, I have to take a bottle shot before, do my swatch pictures, a bottle shot after, then I have to go in and edit them all separately, and it just, I get so stressed. I love multi-chromes, but they stress me out to no end. Number four a popular brand that you think is overpriced. Now, you probably already watched my indie rundown on this, but it is, it is Illimite from Live Love Polish. Beautiful polishes, but it is $16 for this little 10 milliliter bottle, which is really expensive in my opinion. But this is one of my favorite purple polishes, so in my opinion, this particular one from that collection is totally worth the $16, but it's pretty pricey for one 10 milliliter bottle of polish when most indies have 15 milliliters for like nine or $10. So that's just my opinion. Beautiful polish, but very pricey. The next one, number five, is a trend that I can't get on board with. I cannot get on board with crystals on my nails or really anything textured for that matter. I don't like feeling like I'm going to snag my nail on something. I will sit there and pick it all off. Textured polish, the same thing. I will sit there and pick and pick and then I destroy my nails and then I'm so mad at myself. So anything textured or crystal or bumpy, I, I like a smooth finish on my nails. Number six is a trend that I didn't like at its peak, but I do now. I would have to say that would be water marble because at its peak, I mean, I guess it's still kind of like a cool thing to do, but 
I, I just, I couldn't do it. I would get frustrated trying and trying and trying and now that I'm kind of slowly figuring out, I'm enjoying it. So I would have to say water marble is my answer for that one. Number seven is a color that I don't wear often or at all. That would have to just be like nude, like a neutral nude shade. I think it looks weird on me. I like to show off my nail. Hi, I'm wearing like a bright neon coral right now. I like my nails to be like bam in your face. So a nude is just kind of like, I just don't wear them very often. Hi, my dog's in here, sorry. Hi baby. Sorry if it gets loud. What do you want from me? You're, oh, you're too excited. Can we call Daenerys? Uh, number eight is a polish that I like, but I think is overhyped. That would have to be the Color Club Halo Hues holographic polishes. I love them. I have the whole collection. I meant to take it out so I could show you, but I have um, the Ethereal collection. Maybe that's not what it is, but I bought one of the six piece collections and I love them, but I feel like so many indies do hollows and even better than those. Um, like Paint and Polish by Lexi and Listen and Glow, they do some killer hollows and they kind of worn up Color Club in my opinion. So I would say those are pretty overhyped. Um, a popular top coat that I don't like. I would have to say that is Sesh Beat. I started off with that when I got into nail polish because it is so fast drying, but after two or three days, it kind of shrinks and peels all the polish up and forward, and I started having problems with it smearing when I got into stamping, so Sesh Beat, some people love it, some people hate it. I am more on the hate side of Sesh, sorry. <laughs> And the final question is, a nail polish that does not get enough love. As you can see, there's one little buddy hanging out here. Um, this is um, What's Red Doing Here from All Mixed Up Lacquers. This is one of my favorite corally, neon -y colors that I own. I don't use it enough. I love this color. Coral, um, neon red, though that color group is totally like my love. And now that it's summer, I'm gonna bust it out again. But this just does not get enough love for me. And uh, LJ is bringing this back this summer, so I'll have that. Ooh, I'll have that information below. But this is definitely one of my polishes that does not get enough love. I wish I used it more. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, what's Red doing here from All Mixed Up Lacquers? So that is my unpopular nail polish opinions. Opinion on the question. <laughs> I don't know. That's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.